Hello. Before we build anything in the workshop, I always like to create a drawing in SketchUp. Primarily this is so that I can work out a cutting plan for the materials, but if it's a complex build, I can also iron out any intricate details. I'm going to be building wall cupboards for the workshop. So the first thing I want to do is establish the outside dimensions of the wall cupboard. So I'll grab the rectangle tool and I'll draw the base of the cupboard. I want it to be 1000 long by 300 deep. I'll then grab the push pull tool and I'll drag this up. The height I want this is 720mm. These are standard wall cupboard dimensions. If you've ever bought kitchen carcasses, these would be the standard dimensions. Grab the select tool, select the faces and just delete these. I want to get back to a wire frame. So delete all of the faces, leaving the lines. Now this gives me a wire frame which is the extent of the cabinet. I want to select the whole thing. I'm just going to right click and then group it. And then right click again and that will allow me to lock it. Now nothing will get attached to this when I'm drawing and this outline won't move. It will stay in this position. We can use these points as a reference. So let's start drawing the cupboard. Grab the rectangle tool, use the reference points, draw a side panel. Use the push-pull tool to give it some thickness. Start pulling it and then type in 18mm. With the select tool, triple click this to select the whole panel. And then right click and we're going to make this a component. I'm going to give it a name. Call it side panel and click the create. Now what that's done is that's made a component and it's put it in the component directory. And if I want to create another one of these rather than draw it again from scratch, I can simply drag this out of the component directory and it'll create an identical panel. I'll just move this inside the wireframe and there we have the two side panels. To create the shelves in the same manner, use the rectangle tool, use my points here as a reference, use the push-pull tool to give it some thickness, 18mm, select, triple click, right click, Make component and then I'll call this shelf. Click create. Again, you can see now that's entered another component in the component directory. To create another copy of that shelf, I can simply drag another one out of here. Sorry, shelf out of here. Or we can use the move tool to create copies. So click the move tool. Click Control, that brings up a little plus sign, that means we're going to make a copy. And then use the top corner as a reference and drag it up to the top of our cupboard. We'll make another copy of this in the middle. Now I want to find the midpoint of that shelf. Control to make a copy and bring that down till I find it where it snaps on the middle of the side panel, just there. And that's our three shelves. We'll put some doors on using the same method. Grab the rectangle tool from the top corner. I'll come along till I find the midpoint. Hover there for a second so SketchUp knows I want to use that as a reference. And then move the mouse down to the bottom. Click. Push pull tool to give the door some thickness. 18mm enter. Select tool, triple click, right click, make component, create. Drag another door out of the component directory onto the model. And then we have our two doors. The good thing about working with components, if you've got a lot of the same thing that you want to alter, whatever you do to one of your components will automatically be replicated on the others. So it's a good way of making very quick alterations to multiple items. 
Right, let's put a back on this cupboard. Rectangle tool again. Top corner to bottom corner. Push pull tool to give it some thickness. We only want this to be a sheet of six mil ply, six millimeters. Select, triple click, right click, make component. Give it a name, click create. And there we have it. There's our kitchen cupboard all done. Let's just swing one of these doors open so we can have a quick look inside. There we have it. So our three shelves, two side panels, two doors and the back. I hope you found that tutorial to be useful for you and some of the points that I've raised there to be interesting. Please make sure that you subscribe because there will be future videos with further tips and hints on how to use SketchUp when you're designing your own woodworking projects. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.